Hi Pisces, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what awaits for you in love for April 19th to April 25th, 2021? What awaits for you in love? Hi right, Pisces, I'm going to go ahead and pick three cards to represent your energy. Let's see where your energy is and then we'll look at the energy of whoever it is that you are connecting to in love. Okay, starting with your energy. Spirit, please give me three cards to represent the energy of Pisces in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. First card is the Eight of Pentacles. Second card is the Lovers. And the last card is the Judgment in Reverse. Okay, so there is a relationship here, Pisces, that you feel very strongly about. This is a relationship that you might feel like this is a soulmate or a twin flame. Someone you, ha you share a deep passion with, a deep connection. Um, and the Eight of Pentacles shows me that you want to work on this connection. You want to work on, on growing this relationship you're willing to put in the time the energy the effort now we do have the judgment here in reverse so um the judgment in reverse can tell me actually that you're thinking about this um, that you're not completely sure if the work that you put into this relationship will give you results. Um, it's almost like you're not sure how this other person feels. It's like you know how you feel, but you're not sure if the other person is on the same page as you. And if they're also willing to put in as much work as you're willing to put in. So I almost feel like you're not you're not really sure, you know, what what are their intentions and what are their goals with this relationship or with this connection. All right, let's look at three cards here to represent their energy. Spirit, please give me three cards to represent the energy of whoever Pisces is connecting to in love, please. Okay, first card is the Queen of Wands. Might be connecting with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. We have the Eight of Swords. And we have the Moon in Reverse. Okay, so this person is... Yeah, they're not sure about this... This... Connection here. <clears throat> I almost feel like they're giving you mixed signals, Pisces. Um... Yeah, because the Queen of Wands, she can be really good at pretending sometimes, like pretending that, you know, that they're confident and inside they're not confident at all. Um, or pretending like they know what they want, they know where they're going, um, they know what they stand for, they know, you know, um, they're in control. But in reality, they're not in control. So we have the Eight of Swords, which, which means that inside they're conflicted. Mentally conflicted, emotionally conflicted here. The Moon in Reverse. Um, yeah, their emotions are a little bit out of control here. Um, they're lacking clarity in their emotions. Emotionally, they're not clear. It's like they're divided. Half of them wants this. Half of them wants to go for it, to take a chance, um, you know, to 
to follow their intuition, their their heart. Um, they want to follow their intuition and their heart, but another part of them is like just really fearful and very insecure. Yeah, and it's like they want to give up on this. Like half of the half of them wants to go for it and the other half wants to give up on this. Let's go ahead and clarify. I'm going to clarify what's going on with the 8 of swords. Why do they feel trapped or conflicted? Spirit, please clarify the Eight of Swords, please. Why does this person feel conflicted? Ooh, Two of Pentacles. So here they are juggling between two different decisions here. And we also have the Three of Swords, Heartbreak, Separation. Um, this, can ma this can mean a third party. Maybe they're involved here with more than one, more than one person. Or this can be that maybe they're just afraid of getting their heart broken. They're afraid of um, suffering an, a, a loss or going through a separation. What about the moon in reverse? Let's clarify this card. We have here the Nine of Cups. So you do make them happy here, um, Pisces. Yeah, you do make them happy. You do make them feel... Um, in love. And... I do feel like this can also mean emotional emotional dependency. Yeah, it's like when when they're into someone, they're completely into someone like they like their their whole world becomes that person. Yeah, and this is why I do feel like they end up disappointed because they don't have a healthy balance in terms of, you know, having a relationship with themselves and having a relationship with another person. It's like they lose themselves. Let me get another card to clarify the moon, please. Yeah, here we go. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, so, you know, this is what they want. They want this happily ever after. They want this perfect, this perfect love, perfect relationship, perfect fairy tale, you know. And they feel like they can have that with you here with the Nine of Cups. They feel like it's possible to have that with you. But they're definitely holding back here with the Three of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Um, they know that they've been down this road before and it's ended in disappointment and um, they don't want to go through that again. Because I feel like it's like they know themselves, you know, with the Queen of Wands. It's like they already know how, how they get, how they behave, you know, how they just lose control. Um, it kind of becomes toxic, basically. Um, 
they become too too heavily dependent on the other person and it becomes unhealthy so they've gone through that experience and they definitely don't want to go through that again yeah so they are holding back okay so let's see the outcome let's see what's going to happen between you two in the near future this can be for um all the way from now till the middle of may 2021 what's going to be the outcome what's going to happen between you two Ace of Cups in reverse, okay. Knight of Pentacles upright. And the Four of Cups in reverse. So nothing really, right? So we have the Ace of Cups in reverse, which means that there is there's no new beginning here in love this is a new beginning in love but when it's reverse it's like this new beginning is it's not happening between you two here um the knight of pentacles it's it is movement forward it's moving forward but it's moving very very slowly and it's not really focused on love it's more focused on career finances work and personal goals um, and then the four of cups in reverse this tends to be a rejection a card of rejection so i do feel like this person um yeah they're gonna be there doing their own thing um for the time being they're gonna be rejecting love for the time being um, rejecting the opportunity um, of love and the opportunity here of possibly being in a relationship with you it's like they're gonna choose to not focus on that and yeah they're gonna be more focused on career or this can be your energy also Pisces let me just clarify also that this can be you yeah because I do feel like I said with your energy it's like you know you're interested but you don't know if the other person um is on the same page as you and if they are you know thinking the same way that you're thinking or wanting the same things that you want so um i do feel like you're gonna get tired of the wishy-washy energy of this person the inconsistencies of this person and you you're, def you're definitely going to, you know, just put it on the back burner. And you're also going to be focused then on work. And building building money, building, building your financial stability. So yeah, love is not going to be a priority here. Um, at least for this specific time. Um for the time being. Let me tell you what this Queen of Wands is. I didn't clarify the Queen of Wands. Let's clarify that one real quick. See where's the... Where's their head at? This person, whoever you're connecting with. Clarify the Queen of Wands, Spirit, please. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, two of cups. Yeah, so like I said, this person definitely is interested in you here. They're definitely interested in you. They see the potential of this happily ever after with you. Um, they feel happiness and joy when they're around you. Um, and you have the lovers here, so both of you are seeing each other as a as a soulmate here as a compatible match 
So that's not the problem then. The problem is not how you two feel about each other. The problem is more external, ex external issues here. Might be distance. Maybe you two are just at a distance from each other. But this person also has ego, which is not helping them. And kind of stubbornness. They're being stubborn. So I do feel like they're just too much in their heads. They're overthinking things and they're creating negative scenarios um, that don't exist. And they're kind of self-sabotaging, I feel. So I do feel like I said, there is going to be uh, an absence of love for the time being, um, and the priority is going to be work and finances. Okay, so that's everything I see, Pisces. Let me know if this resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, Pisces.